All right, guys, here's a uh, little video on the radio line worksheet that uh, I sent out as well. Um, I think for the most part, people did or are having not a hard time with this one, other than the blank sides, uh, size section. Um, when it comes to laying out um, or doing radio line work in the shop, um, when it comes to the blank size, if you can figure out this cord length, that gives you the width of the blank size automatically. And uh, if I had like this fitting here, where it was 20 to 10 or 20 inch round to 15 inch round, 10 inches tall. Um, if I know it's going to be 10 inches tall, I would just cut a piece like 12 or 14 inches wide, just to make sure it's, you know, a little taller than what the finished product's going to be. Um, and that's usually good enough. Uh, I am going to show you how to figure out this blank size exactly. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll first go through all of these uh, uh, measurements that are on that worksheet. Um, so the first thing they're looking for is the apex. So this this is the third one on the worksheet, these dimensions here. Um, I find it often handy to draw a little picture of what we're doing. Um, so if we use that uh, apex formula, large diameter times the height, Divide, uh, divided by large diameter minus small diameter. Um, if you do it specifically like that, like you have to uh, do large diameter times height equals, and then uh, large diameter minus small diameter. Um, so it's gonna be uh, 200 divided by five. So the apex there should be 40. Uh, then we have the slant height for large diameter. So that's going to be the slant height here. Um, so that's just A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I've actually drew a triangle in there. Um, so I have an apex height now because that's what I figured out. So if I take that triangle and put it here, the base of my triangle is going to be 10 because it's half of the 20. The height here is going to be 40. So it's gonna be 10 squared plus 40 squared is gonna give me the slant height. Um, and that ends up being 20, or 41 and a quarter. Uh, the slant height on the small diameter um, is just this little triangle up here. Right? So that uh, is basically the large triangle like the height here, the apex height, minus the 10 inches is gonna give us the height of the small one. So that one ends, ends up being 30 inches there for the small triangle. <clears throat> and then half of the smaller diameter um, is seven and a half inches. So this ends up being seven and a half on that one. Seven and a half squared plus 30 squared and the square root of the hypotenuse gives us 30 and 15 sixteenths. Okay, now we have those slant heights. This is the most important slant height that we're using for these uh, math equation equations. This one does play into uh, helping us find the blank size. Okay, so stretch out angle. Um, that's where we use the other formula here. Stretch out angle is 180 times the large diameter divided by the slant height. So if you do that in your calculator, like put in the appropriate things in there, 180 times 20 divided by 40 and, or 41 and a quarter, uh, that will give us a stretch out angle of um, 87.313. Uh, and with that stretch out angle, then I can find out these cord lengths, right? So this is uh, 87.313. Um, and remember, doing a cord length, if we draw a triangle in here, then uh, I can actually figure out this cord or half of the cord length. And I can do the same thing for the small side, right? Little triangle in there, it's going to figure out half of the cord length. Um, so that triangle, I'm going to pull out the big one here first. So here we have an angle 
it's going to be uh, 87.313 divided by 2, right? Because we've cut the angle in half. So now we have an angle of 43.6565. That's our angle. We have a hypotenuse length here because that's going to be this length of the triangle, which is our slant length, right? From here to here is our slant length because that's the length we use to swing this whole arc here. So that's gonna be 41 and a quarter. And then if we use uh, the sine function and do the math on there, we can find out this length here. And then we'll multiply it by two to give us a total chord length of um, 56 and 15 sixteenths. Right. And we can do the same math uh, using that same angle, but our smaller slant length uh, to figure out the, um, the small chord length, which ends up being 42 and 11 sixteenths. All right. Uh, now with the blank size, I've drawn it here in blue, you can see the widest point of the blank sides is the same as the large chord length. So automatically we have half of the blank side size. So, so if the large chord length is 56 and 15 sixteenths, 16 that's part of our blank size. The other one is gonna be the height here. So we know that uh, the slant length, if I bring it all the way down to the middle, that, that length there is the same as this length here. So from the bottom all the way to the top there is the slant length height. So what I basically need to do is subtract this length here off of that total length and what I'm left over is gonna be the height of my blank size. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, I have this little triangle in here so I've moved it over here. So uh, this length, this hypotenuse of that little triangle is the small slant length. The measurement from here to here is half of the small chord length. So this, uh, the small chord length right here, oops, right here, sorry. Uh, half of the small chord length uh, is gonna be on the bottom here. So 42, Uh, 21 and 11 30 seconds. So, and then the slant length, the small slant length was 30, 15 sixteenths. So I can just go C squared minus B squared equals the square root of A squared. Right? Uh, and that's going to give me a, a length here. Um, I'll just do it here on my calculator. So that's uh, 22, so this length is 22.06312. Uh, and then I can just subtract that off of my large slant length. And my large slant length was 40, 41 and a quarter. So 41.5 minus. 22.06312. Um, and that's going to give us. Wait a sec. Hmm. I think I did something a little bit wrong there because my answer doesn't quite match. Um, anyway, I must have entered something wrong in my calculator. Uh, that, that is the way to do it. Um, so give it a try yourself, and you should come up with. Uh, 18 and 7 eighths. I must have hit a wrong button there. So, getting that length there, subtracting it off the major slant length, should give you um, 
the actual blank size. Um, and like I said before, it's not really worth, it's a lot of math for very little result. And, uh, you know, if I have a cord, my cord length width there for the blank size and just pick a piece of metal that's slightly longer than um, the actual finished height of my cone, like I said, 12 or 14 inches, I'm gonna be able to lay this whole thing out on there and still have minimal waste. So, um, you know, if you're really good at math, it, it might be worth doing, but uh, for the most part, I usually tell people it's not even worth doing. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, give me a call or an email and I will do my best to answer.